Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and I'm going to show you how to create an audio gallery on your WordPress website. We're going to do it using one of our premium WordPress plugins which is called Post Table Pro. Post Table Pro lets you display all sorts of content um, which you're storing on your WordPress website within a table, just like this one, which you can see on the plugin demo site. This is an audio and video gallery, and this tutorial is about how to create an audio gallery. So ignore the video for now, although you can display videos too. As you can see in this table here, we have embedded audio files, which you can listen to directly from within the table. So it's a really neat way of displaying audio tracks and people can listen to them and play and pause and fast forward and all that stuff directly within the table. And you can also uh, display playlists. So this is a playlist with two tracks in it and you can listen to either track and navigate between them directly from the table. So people don't have to click through to a separate page to view that, that's all there already. So I'll teach you how to do that now. And this is a blank WordPress website. Um, I've got uh, just the standard stuff there and I'll tell you what you need. The main thing you definitely need is the Post Table Pro plugin. That is the plugin which will create the table which will display your audio files. You can ignore most of the plugins I've got here, uh, but you do need to think about where you're going to store your audio files. A popular way to do that is via a custom post type. And you can see on the left here in the admin of my WordPress site, I've created a custom post type called audio. And that's where I'm going to store each of my audio um, files. You, if you're a developer, you can create a custom post type using the usual method, or otherwise you can use a plugin such as custom post type UI, which I'm using here to create your custom post type. And once you've done that, it will add an audio section or whatever you've called it to the left of the admin where you can add your audio. Or if you don't want to use a custom post type, that's fine. You can add everything as posts. You can add them as pages. Post Table Pro can display all sorts of content from a WordPress website, so that's all fine. And you, uh, so the next thing we need to do is add our audio files. So I'm going to do two now to show you a standard audio track and also a playlist. We're going to go to audio, add new. And first I'm just going to add a normal audio file to listen to and I'm going to call it audio one. And I'm going to embed the audio track within the main content of this custom post. I could alternatively display it within the excerpt box. Post Table Pro will support audio files within either the content or the excerpt of your pages, posts or custom posts. But um, personally, I find it easier to do it in the main content because you've got your toolbar and your add media button. Whereas with excerpt, you have to do it in the code, which is a bit trickier using HTML. So let's put our audio file in the main content. And what we want to do is use the built-in WordPress embed. WordPress has a clever feature where it will automatically embed audio files, and that's what we're going to use. So, sorry, I went a bit fast for you then. So back to the post. We're going to click the add media button above the toolbar. And then we want to select any audio file, such as an MP4, no, MP3, sorry, then that's audio. And so I'm going to select this one, which I uploaded earlier. If you haven't uploaded it yet, that's fine. Just go to upload files and do it the usual way. I've already uploaded my audio, so I'm going to select it and click insert into post. And as you can see, WordPress has automatically created a player within the page, which I can um, use. And so you don't need to do anything clever to actually make it into an audio player. WordPress does that. And then I'm going to add an excerpt as well. The reason I'm going to do that is because in my table, I want to display the title of my audio file, which is up there. I want to display the embedded media, which is here. And I also want to display a brief description. You can have whatever content you want. You might want to create custom fields such as size or length or whatever is relevant for you. You might want to create categories. You can do all that um, for your custom post type or however you're doing it. But I'm gonna keep it simple and just have the title, the audio file itself, and an excerpt. And I'm just gonna write, this is the description, how creative of me. And then we're going to click publish. 
So that is how you would add each of your audio files, the individual ones, to the website. And before we actually create a table to display that in the front end of the site, I'm going to add a playlist for you as well so that you can see how to create audio playlists. To do that, we're going to go audio add new again. And I'm going to call this playlist one. Again, we're going to add that within the content using the standard WordPress embeds. So I'm going to click the add media button here again. And instead of clicking a file directly, I want to click create audio playlist. And if you can't see this link, it's because you have not uploaded any media files to your WordPress media library yet. So this link appears after you have uploaded media files. So if it's not there, you're going to have to upload your files first and then click create audio playlist. So I've already done that and I have two, media, two um, audio files. So we're going to click them both and then go create a new playlist. It then gives us some options to add a, the track name underneath. This will actually appear on your playlist and so make it dis, um, descriptive such as the song name or something like that. And there's also a few settings. Do you want to show the artist name and so on? And then insert audio playlist. Again, I'm going to add a description in the excerpt box because I want to display that as a separate column. You could add it within your main content um, here, but it would appear within the same column of your table then because it's the same field, obviously. So um, instead, I'm going to put it in the excerpt because that will allow me to display the description in a separate column, which I think would be neater. But there is loads of options and you can do it however works for you. So I'm going to write this is the playlist description and then publish. And that is the technique for adding your audio, whether it's individual files that you're going to embed or whole playlists. Next, we need to create a page and display our post table on that, which will allow you to create your audio gallery. To do that, we're going to go to pages, add new. You can put your audio gallery on any page or post or even in a widget. So I'm going to do it on a page because that's the most popular option and it's called audio gallery. You can call it whatever you like. This is where we use the Post Table Pro plugin to create a short code which will provide a table where you can display your audio posts with the embedded audio files. To do that, we write open square brackets and then posts underscore table. And next we need to tell the Post Table Pro plugin which custom post type to display. If you're using posts, you don't need to do that. If you're using pages or a custom post type, then you do need to tell it what to display. And to do that, it's post underscore type equals, and then within quotation marks, you want the slug of your custom post type. And um, so when I created my custom post type, the slug was audio or lowercase, but you'll need to look at how you've set up your custom post type to find the correct slug. So that's post type equals audio. Next, we want to tell it what columns to display. And we're going to write columns equals and then open quotation marks. The first column I want to display is the main content column, which is this box, where, as you saw, we embedded our audio files and playlists a minute ago. To do that, we're going to write content. And if we leave it at that, the title of that column will be content, which I don't think is very appropriate for an audio gallery. So I'm going to put a colon and write listen now. That basically gives it a custom heading of listen now. And so you can call it whatever you like. Next, I'm going to put a column and then my next column, a colon, sorry, and then my next column in the table, which is title. And I don't want to rename title. I'm quite happy for the column of that heading to be title. So we'll leave it as title. And then we're going to write another column. And the final one we want to display is excerpt. So excerpt, uh, but that's not very user friendly. So again, I'm going to put a colon and I'm going to write description, description. So that will tell the post table to display the excerpt field as a column, but that it will be called description, which is more user-friendly. 
And that's it. So I'm going to close my quotation marks, close my square brackets. And before I publish it, I need to do one more thing. And that is to tell it to render the short code. By short code, I'm referring to when WordPress automatically embedded the audio files a minute ago. Behind the scenes, it did that by creating a short code for each of your audio files. And by default, a post table will display them in this sort of format with the square brackets. You obviously don't want that. So what you do is within the square brackets, you write short codes equals, and then within quotation marks equals true. And that tells it to render the short code and display the actual embedded audio, not the short code itself. And we're going to click publish. And then we will be able to have a look at the page we just created and the first draft of our audio gallery. This is the page I just created and you can see it has three columns. Listen now, title and description, just like we told it to. We've got the playlist displayed here. We've got the audio files. Um, we can listen to them from directly within the table, which is brilliant. Um, we can select a track on the playlist, all the usual stuff that you can do with WordPress audio embeds directly from your media gallery here. And we've got the title column, which is the title that we added to each of our custom posts. And we've got the description. You can see I added an audio file earlier and I didn't bother adding a description. So that's why this is blank. That may be all you need to do, which is great. Um, or you may want to further configure the table. To do that, use the documentation. There are loads of options. You can change the way it's ordered by default. You can add different columns, loads of things you can do. Um, but I'm just gonna show you one more thing, which is a popular way to use um, an audio gallery, which is that at the moment, you can see that the titles are purple. That's because they're links. So if I click through to one, it will take me to the single post page for my custom post, um, which is a separate page with my playlist on it. And this is the content of the custom post you saw me add a minute ago. Uh, well, if you've got all of your audio files directly within the table, then it's quite likely that you don't want people to be able to click through. To do that, we can disable the links so that people can't click through to a separate page. And I'll just show you how to do that now because a lot of people with audio galleries would want to do that. We've gone back to the page where we added our gallery and to the end um, within the square brackets, we're gonna do a space after the short codes equals true. And I just want to add links equals and then within quotation marks, none. And I'll update the page and show you what that has done. So links equals none. And I'll refresh my page and you can see I've disabled the links. So this has created a nice playlist, um, a nice audio gallery where it shows all my audio files. You can have as many as you want. If you have loads, then pagination can appear at the bottom. And you can also set up the Post Table Pro shortcode to tell it how many to display um, on each page before the pagination kicks in. You can show or hide all these bits, um, change the position a bit. Um, there's a lot you can do. So go to the documentation and have a play with Post Table Pro and all the different ways that you can use it to create a brilliant media gallery with your audio files in. I hope that's useful and we provide a year's support when you buy Post Table Pro. So do get in touch if you have any questions about how to use it.